Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Ryan Hernandez, and you've been if you've been following me on YouTube and maybe on Twitter, you may have seen that I have been bringing up a lot about health, about eating healthy, and you know losing weight. And I'm bringing this up because I want I want my journey of healing uh, to people to see how it goes. Because you know, coming out of a some may, as I said, might call it a cult. Some might call it a high control group. The bottom line is there was so much bullying, and you know, through all the bullying and verbal abuse, I you know, looking back, I feel that I have lost, I have lost so much of my identity, so much control, and my identity became what they said I was. So if they were to say I'm a misfit then that became my identity. If they were to say that I'm lazy and I'm uh, always sleepy, and the funny thing is, yeah, I'm, I'm always sleepy because at that time, because we would only sleep three, four, five hours max. So of course I was sleepy. And being being laughed at, being made fun of, being, you know, the the center of jokes. And the thing was, the interesting thing is that when I look back at some pictures, I look back and I wasn't even obese at that time. Uh, the lowest I believe I was was 115 pounds, which is equivalent to, I believe, 52 kilos. And still in my mind, I always had this idea that my identity is, oh, because they say I'm lazy, I must be lazy. Or because they say I'm always sleepy, it must be that... I'm infested by evil spirits or someone out there has cursed me or put some kind of a spell on me. That's why I can't be awake. Um, but now I'm trying to regain my life. Uh, I'm trying to regain my prayer life. I'm trying to regain my mental health. I'm trying to regain um, my emotional balance and also, uh, you know, regain my physique. So I'm going to the gym. I'm working hard. I'm you know, attempting to be at a healthier weight. And I want y'all to see the journey because it's not easy. But I, I hope that I can bring results because I want people to know that it is possible to regain their life after leaving a, let's say, a domestic abuse or, you know, a, for me, a, a cult environment. Because if if for so many years I felt that there was no hope, um, I'm I'm wondering how many other people out there feel that there's no hope. So I pray that, you know, maybe by doing this, I can bring hope to someone.